Welcome to our daily devotional for February 2nd, 2021. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Those are the words of Jesus at the beginning of his Sermon on the Mount with the Beatitudes, coming to us from Matthew chapter 5, verse 3, from the New International Version of God's Holy Word. At the start of his Sermon on the Mount, beginning with the Beatitudes, Jesus describes the way for us to achieve true happiness. It doesn't have anything to do with the pursuit of uh, self-focused satisfaction or fulfillment. Instead, his directive points that our spiritual health and happiness comes from a different set of attitudes and a different way of thinking and doing. Christ begins by telling us the importance for you and I to see ourselves as we really are sinners who are in incredible need of God's forgiveness. Now, the New Living Translation of God's Holy Word describes those being poor in spirit as realizing their need for Him. Now, the original meaning of this verse alluded to how in those days one would see the beggars that are destitute and completely, completely dependent upon others um, as shrinking and cowering and cringing. Now, Jesus uses this stark illustration to cause you and I to realize our need for God means that we are spiritually destitute apart from him. Now, if we hear and we understand what he's told us about our spiritual condition, we then mourn or have sorrow over it. And this results in God's blessings as we're motivated to keep making significant changes in our lives. Described in 2 Corinthians chapter 7.10, uh, from the New Living Translation, it says, For the kind of sorrow that God wants us to experience leads us away from sin and results in salvation. There's no regret for that kind of sorrow, but worldly sorrow, which lacks repentance, results in spiritual death. Therefore, authentic real, genuine sorrow over our spiritual condition leads to the hope and the peace and the joy and the love found in salvation through Christ. And without this genuine sorrow leading us to repentance and the rejection of sin, there is no salvation. Then, seeing ourselves as we really are brings about an extremely important spiritual quality. And it's a word that our culture doesn't like very much, meekness. <laughs> the gentleness and humility that comes from an honest and accurate assessment of ourselves affects how you and I act towards others. It contradicts the world's way of thinking. We're no longer filled with pride and arrogance, nor do we experience the kind of frustration, resentment, and anger that comes from unmet, self-centered desires. Now, this kind of meekness that is described by Christ, it's not cowardly or weak. Instead, it manifests incredible power found in the way, the truth, and the life of Jesus Christ. Praise Almighty God for His grace and His mercy delivered to us through our Lord Jesus. Now, our passage for the day includes our verse for the day, and then two others, from Matthew chapter 5, verses 3 through 5. And again, from the New Living, I mean, so sorry, the New International Version of God's Holy Word. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. And blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Now, additional suggested readings for today's devotional come to us from James chapter 2, verses 1 through 12, and the entirety of Psalm 37. Blessings to you and yours from the Ion Community Church.